Pakistan for Poland Dusty Zindabad. Poland, a very important country of the EU, is celebrating its national day here at Marriott today. This event is hosted by the Poland government and His Excellency Peter Opelinski along with his wife. Let's go and explore. At the event, the Polish Ambassador, His Excellency Mr. Peter Opolinski, gave an opening speech in Urdu. Chief guest of the event also gave his speech, followed by a cake cutting ceremony. <music> Dozens of diplomats and people from business community were present there. Ladies and gentlemen, now we are with the host of the event, His Excellency Mr. Peter Opolinski, who is the Ambassador of Poland. His Excellency, what would you want to say about the significance of this event? Well, we are here today to celebrate Polish Independence Day, but also Polish-Pakistani friendship. I'm very happy uh, to see all our friends uh, who came here to uh, work together for uh, bringing our uh, relations into even higher level. Uh, so do you think such events play an important part in bringing the people and the embassies close? As you can see from the um, exhibition which we also uh, opened for this particular occasion, there is a great history of Polish-Pakistani friendship uh, starting from the very uh, first years of Pakistan independence as well. This is a story of Polish pilots who came here and the uh, late foundations of Pakistan Air Force. There were also other servicemen who uh, work in defense of Pakistan. So we are very proud of them. They were awarded with highest Pakistani military awards and we are preparing the film and the book which will present to the Pakistan public, Pakistan friends, the history of those Poles who became Pakistanis. So um, on this day when we are celebrating the friendship of Pakistan and Poland, would you want to give a message to the Pakistani people? Well, uh, my message is that uh, despite of geographical distance, uh, we are so much alike and uh, uh, I would like to invite all our Pakistani friends to see Poland. People-to-people -people contacts are the most important ones and uh, we will see that we are the societies, countries which pursue the same values. Poland, which, uh, in which uh, family values and tradition and religion are very important, is very much alike Pakistan. And today we have also finished one year of friendship and we have started another year. So this day would you want to say that, you know, there's some project that's coming up between Pakistan and Poland? Something special that you would want to do? There are many projects which we, which we start, both in the uh, area of education, in economy, but also I'm very happy to have uh, Fire TV with me, that uh, we can bring the, uh, produce the right message uh, about the media, about the today's world which needs this, this message of peace and friendship. Thank you so much for your time and uh, congratulations for the event once again. So ladies and gentlemen, we now have with us the Ambassador of EU, Jean Francois. His Excellency, what would you want to say about uh, Mr. His Excellency Peter Opelinski? What I would like to say is I'm very impressed, especially by his language skills in Urdu. So I think that is a great asset for my colleague from uh, Poland. Uh, using that in a very skilled way, so I'm uh, again very impressed. And it's a, it's a great occasion today, you know, to celebrate the independence of, uh, of Poland. Uh, Poland is an important member state of the EU, so we are very pleased to be here. So, uh, do you think now you're going to learn Urdu as well? Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Well, yeah, definitely. I need to, I have to, I have to. And uh, what would you want to say about the importance of such events in the diplomatic circle? I think it's always important, you know, for us to meet because first of all is also to celebrate, to congratulate our colleagues for an important day during, during the year. But it's also a, a place where we are discussing, where we are also doing diplomacy in another way, in a more informal way. So it's always important to meet. 
Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are here with the ambassador of U Ukraine, um, His Excellency Volodymyr. His Excellency, what would you want to say about um, His Excellency Peter Ovolinsky? No, I, I know that Polish and Ukraine, they are traditional friends, you know, since all history, we are keeping very warm and brotherly relations. That's why uh, also we have such type relations between me and my Polish colleague. We are following uh, for uh, we are following to the successes of Polish reforms. They could provide us good examples sometimes. Of course, we are relying and we keep very good relations with Poland in military and technical cooperation. Uh, right now, Ukraine is fighting Russians, as you know, and in this, you know, in uh, counter-attacking Russian aggression, Poland also provides a good support for us and making us stronger. The Ukrainian army is getting stronger and we are now able to keep off Russian aggression. And Sorry, yeah, so that's why we, we came to our friends' reception. We congratulate them with this date, national date, and we hope that, you know, friendship between Poland, Ukraine, and Pakistan as well it will be process, uh, uh, also developing and getting stronger. Uh, what would you say is the importance of such events in the diplomatic circle? Well, you know, every event like this, I mean reception, we held our national reception in September. All other countries, they provide a good opportunity to reflect on that or another country to see this type of, you know, advertisement or whatever they could produce, to see their achievements, to understand better maybe their culture. Of course, reception is not, you know, such an event for this, but still, you know, we have this opportunity. So we think all ambassadors, all ambassadors doing these functions, they also make advertisement of their country. So that's very useful for diplomats and of course for Pakistani people who could see achievements of the country, their spirit, their cultural heritage, whatever. And would you want to want give a message to the Pakistani viewers who are watching you? No, oh, I like your uh, fire channel, that's why you know I'm a frequent guest with, with your station, that's why thank you very much for not forgetting me even at such events. So I wish your channel, your uh, audience, all successes. Thank you so much. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are here with the Ambassador of Tunisia, His Excellency Adel Al Arabi. Uh, His Excellency, what would you want to say about uh, the Poland Ambassador here, oh, Mr. Peter Lovelinski? Yes, uh, we are very thankful uh, to uh, Ambassador Peter Lovelinski for inviting us to his National Day. So it is very good occasion to, to be gathered and to, to wish uh, prosperity and to wish uh, good future for uh, our friend Poland. The, uh, uh, Poland is a very friendly country and uh, we have a lot of cooperation with Tunisia, have a lot of cooperation with, uh, with Poland. And as you see also many uh, uh, European ambassadors are gathered here and Poland is a part of Europe and uh, Tunisia have a very good, we can say proudly, excellent relation with the European Union and uh, we are very close to them with cooperation and uh, we receive a lot of tourists from Poland it's a beautiful country and we wish all the best prosperity and uh, uh, good development and good cooperation with this very friendly country thank you so much for your time you. um, ladies and gentlemen we are here with Mr. Isfani Bhandara, who is the CEO of My Beauty and um, so, Mr. I would want to ask you, what would you want to say about Mr. Peter Opelinski? Well, he's a very good friend uh, and of course uh, on the state level, Poland is our old friend also. We have relations with Poland and of course the ambassadors have always been our friends coming to the brewery and they are very good people and um, we need to work on our economies, both the countries, we need to do more business relations yes but also business so i think poland and pakistan need to um, strengthen their diplomatic ties as well as economic ties are also very important so of course he's a wonderful gentleman and he's a good friend so uh, poland being a country of eu why do you think it's an important country for pakistan of course uh, i think any country is important for pakistan as i said uh, it's an important uh, importantly strategically almost in Central Europe 
and yes it is a very important country and we should try to see with their demands uh, in cloth in textile and we should export and we should improve our exports to Poland. What do you think these uh, such events uh, play a part like um, in bringing people closer to the other countries what kind of a part is it? Definitely like you see here today it's a reception so you know interaction of people leads to business so I think the, the, the visa policies or policies of Pakistan and Poland should be made in such a way that easy they have easy access to visas and of course people always build bridges or well, po politicians and, and other people don't break bridges it's the business people people like us who make the bridges so it's very important that we grow our economic ties thank you so much for your time thank you. ladies and gentlemen uh, we are here with miss sherry powers who is a friend of his excellency peter and uh, who's a citizen of uh, california so um i would want to ask you how do you find his excellency as a friend Peter's a great friend. I met him back in, I think, 2001 um, when I first came to Pakistan, and we've been friends ever since. He used to drive me around Islamabad in the Polish Embassy's dark blue BMW, and he drove very fast. <laughs> so what would you, like, uh, His Excellency really likes Pakistan, so do you feel the same about Pakistan? Yes, I do very much. I lived here for a few years, then I went away, and now I'm back, and I love Pakistan. What would you want to say about such events, the importance of such events in a diplomatic circle? I don't know. It's hard to say, but it's nice to have a chance to gather together and respect each other. Uh, anything you would want to say about uh, Pakistan to the people who are watching you? Pakistan's in the bud. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time. This is Shansi Manav with cameraman Salman, Fire TV, Islamabad.